Hi, just a gentle reminder whenever you are doing yoga at home to keep yourself safe. Always, always be really mindful, aware and patient of how your body's feeling whenever you are practicing. Some of the postures might be challenging in terms of the strength required for them and that's fine. It's great to be a little bit challenged sometimes if it feels easy all the time then mm, it's maybe not really yoga but nothing should feel physically painful. Um, you want to really notice what is the reason for doing that particular posture. So why are you doing X, Y or Z? What area of the body is it meant to target into? What is it actually meant to do? And don't get wrapped up in trying to create some kind of ideal shape for the posture. Always be led by how does it feel within your body and embrace the fact that we are all unique and you might need to adapt and change things to suit yourself. Be really mindful of what you see online because it is super important to remember that our bodies are all made differently. Some people have hypermobility or just crazy range of movement in an area of their body that no amount of yoga, stretching or whatever would ever give somebody else because it starts from our skeletons, it starts from our joints and sometimes you just cannot change where your body can go to and that's really important to remember. Um, you see lots of videos of people trying to do really cool poses and um, you know like people chucking themselves up into a headstand or like trying to force their body into a splits pose or something like that please do not do it while you're at home and you're practicing stay really safe and sensible and don't do anything that will cause physical pain um definitely don't start doing headstands at home if you've never done them before i personally don't really practice headstands very often maybe very rarely but i don't i sometimes get a little bit of a a niggle in my neck why would I want to balance my weight on my head and risk my neck by doing a headstand? What is the purpose of doing a headstand? I will do a handstand. I'll play about with variations, but it's more about creating strength and stability in the upper body, not necessarily getting up into a handstand. So we need to weight bear, we need to stress the body and getting on your hands is quite good for that. So I will play and practice with that. But again, you don't have to, there are other ways of doing that. So just always be very mindful. Why are you doing what you're doing? What is the purpose of it? What are you hoping to get from it? And just be very careful that your ego doesn't take over and see all these crazy things and think, wow, that looks cool, I gotta do that. So please practice safely. If you do need help with anything at all, please get in touch, give me a wee shout. Have fun practicing, stay safe and enjoy it.